Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Lessons and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. Each day I've selected a different composer, one that's had a role to play with both organizations. Today it is the English composer John Stainer. Born in 1840, died in 1901. He was a composer, an organist, a professor. At age nine, he began singing in the choir at St. Paul's Cathedral in London and was their principal treble soloist. At age 16, he became organist at St. Michael's Tenbury College. And uh, it was at that time that he wrote uh, an anthem called, I Saw the Lord. His music is, of course, like that period, very traditional harmonies, but it's wonderful. And this piece, I'm gonna play just the beginning of it. This is from 1858, when it says, I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up. And every time it goes up to up, obviously they sing higher. So here's the beginning. It's for double choir. So I'll play both choir parts with organ. can see the kind of grand music that Stainer was writing. At age 32, he became the organist in London at St. Paul's Cathedral, which is of course a magnificent place. And he was responsible for the idea behind the pipe organ that was then installed in St. Paul's. Stainer loved the traditional folk songs. And he was responsible, along with another man named Bramley, for putting together a book called Christmas Carols, New and Old. And we are thankful to him because some of the carols that you know today, you know because Stainer found them, harmonized them, and added them to the book. Here are two carols in the harmonizations that Stainer did. I don't even have to tell you what they are. and onward, and here's the other one. He also wrote a number of hymns. Most of them are not in hymnals any longer, except this beautiful little one that is used in Advent for the text, Come the Long Expected Jesus. In 1871, 
he wrote a grand anthem called Awake, Awake, Put on Thy Strength, O Zion. And this is a piece, it's in several parts, but the middle part of it is one of the favorite anthems to sing here at Plymouth Church. It's that text that comes in, how beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of them that bring good tidings. I'm just gonna play the beginning part. The soprano sings it, then the alto has the melody, then the bass has it, and finally the tenor. It's such a lovely, beautiful piece. Such a beautiful, beautiful anthem by John Stainer. He was also very busy besides being organist at St. Paul's Cathedral, he and composing music, he also became inspector of music in England. This is in the 1870s. He would travel around the country trying to upgrade music education in the schools, raising the standards for young people. Also, the hymn book called Hymns Ancient and Modern, which was one of two important hymnals in England, he did the revision of that hymnal. So in his later years, he wasn't composing much, he had no time to, but he did compose in 1887 a piece that is still heard from time to time today, and in that piece is a beloved anthem that is definitely still heard. The piece was called The Crucifixion. It was a cantata for Holy Week. And halfway through it is this beautiful, beautiful anthem. And when I came to Plymouth Church, I found the music of this anthem here. It um, had been in the church's library, well, probably since this church was started in 1908 at this location. This music came, I'm sure, from the previous location. It's that beautiful little piece, words from John, the third chapter, God so loved the world. I'm just gonna play the very beginning and the very end of this familiar anthem. Then at the end of the piece,
Have a wonderful day.